Hi, it's me Ace, Hochiki Engineer. I will show you how to do, troubleshooting slave line open circuit. First, check on the active event on display screen. You will find a trouble notification in an active general trouble indicator lamp. To view the trouble details, press trouble tab. Next, check the details of address, loop and address module SOM series that is having trouble. There are two possible causes of slave line of device address YY, at loop XX, has disconnected. For class A, the possible cause is slave line cable address YY on loop XX has disconnected. As for class B, there is no end of line installed at the last device in slave line of device address YY on loop XX. As you can see, we have a slave line open circuit trouble at loop 1 address 10 on the second floor of Hochiki building. Now, we have to check the problem on the module installed in the terminal box. Let's go. Now that we have arrived at the location of terminal box on the second floor of Hochiki building, check the SOM module with address and loop as shown on trouble details. Analysis and checking are required to identify whether the trouble comes from module itself or from field wiring. To identify where the problem comes from, First, remove field wiring or slave line connected to DCP SOMA module and terminate 10K ohm resistor directly to module. Then connect an end of line device 10K ohm to module. If slave line open circuit trouble notification is still active, it is likely the trouble comes from the module itself. And it is advisable to replace with new DCP SOMA module. If slave line open circuit trouble notification is disappear from panel screen, that means the module works well and continue to check the field wiring. Continue by checking the cable path to the bell or horn strobe. Make sure all cable are terminated securely, no broken cable or open cable in between. An end of line resistor 10K ohm is installed properly at the last bell or horn strobe for class B. If cable termination found loose, secure it properly. If broken or open cable found, join it properly or replace with new cable. If 10K ohm end of line resistor for class B is not installed or in loose connection, installed it and secure it properly. Panel will return to normal or slave line open circuit trouble will disappear after rectification of field wiring. That's all we have for you on the troubleshooting of slave line open circuit for now. You can drop us your question to get guides from your nearest contact in Hochiki group of companies. Thank you and see you on next video.